Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to solve an interesting interview scenario that was asked recently. That is finding out the first order and the second order placed by customer. So let us try to solve this using LOD expression. So for that, I'm just taking you to my view where I have created, I've taken my customer name and I've taken order date just to find out how many orders we have. So if you observe for Aaron, Bagman and Hawkins, Aaron has placed three orders and Aaron Hawkins has placed many orders, right? My intention is I want to find out first what is the first time order he has placed and what is the second order he has placed. So there are multiple ways to do that. So I'm just trying to use the latest one. Uh, I mean, the easiest one that is LOD and I'm writing it as first order. Okay, it is very simple because we need the first order date, which means indirectly it is the minimum order date per customer. So I'm using fixed customer name, which will sound as for each customer. Okay, give me minimum order date. Okay. So for each customer, give me minimum order date. That is what we are trying to tell here. For each customer, give me minimum order date. Okay. Now suppose if I want at a year level, then again, I can specify comma order date. Then that will give me a different result here. Okay. So let us try and check both of them. My intention is it should give me 18 because that is the minimum here. Okay. I'm just clicking on apply. And I'm just taking this and dropping it here, converting that into exact date to see what is the date that it is being generated. Okay, I'm making it discrete. Now observe here, 18 is the minimum, right? So, but I have given, if I remove this order date from here, it is for each customer, give me minimum order date. I have not specified any dimension, so it is giving me first one. So which is right. But if I specify order date, which means what? For each customer, for each year, give me the minimum order date, which means in 2021, we got this as the minimum date. Perfect. But again, in 23, we have this, so this will become the minimum date. So we will get two dates. Observe here as well in he, Aaron has placed two orders. I mean, many orders in 2021, he has placed 22. He has placed and 23. He has placed and 24 as well. Now in 2021, with respect to year, if I take this is the minimum. So this is the date it has taken. Right. Uh, so we should here we can specify year of order date because we need for each year now now it is computing at an year level year 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 okay so for each customer each year what is the minimum order date if you don't want that we can simply remove it it is on an overall level now likewise i want to find out the second order which means i want this seven three the first order he was he placed was on uh, February 18th. Second was on 7th March. I want that. So to get that, I'm just trying to leverage what we have created in the first order. Because we need all the other dates apart from this minimum date. Right. That's how we use the top second rank to get. Right. So I'm using the same concept here. Second order. So first I'm trying to find out uh, fixed for each customer. Give me minimum order date so we got first order okay i'm applying it and again i'm just bringing this into view so that it can help us understand how each of our statement is being evaluated or it is giving the result and then we'll try to you know uh, enhance our calculation Now, what I want is I don't want this 18th date to come into my calculation. I want all the other dates so that I can again find out. So I'm writing a simple if statement here. If my order date is greater than this minimum date, 
Okay, same. If you remember the house SQL, we will write same format. I'm trying to write. If my order date is greater than this minimum date, then give me order date. I'm ending it simple. Okay. So then I have not written here. Then give me order date and end it. Now what will happen? We will get all the other dates apart from minimum date. Right, because we are ignoring that. Now on top of this, I am trying to write another fixed expression for each customer. Give me minimum from these two. Now these two will be the list that Tableau will be passing it. At each customer, we will have these two dates. So what is the minimum date? This is the date. Okay, so that should come now. And I'm closing it. Click on apply. Now it is giving us second order date. Okay, so this way you can solve your first order date and second order date. If at all asked in interview these days, they have asked this question to a couple of subscribers. So I wanted to share it with you so that it can help you. If it if this video has helped you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, bye bye and have a good day.